Let's consider the fact, and this is a lesson for all of us here, I think, that uh, when you rely on the federal government to fund something, the federal government doesn't always continue to fund something. When President Biden cut off money to our child care in Wisconsin, ended it this summer, is in process of ending it, it's, got, it's in stages. This was stimulus funding that went into child care accounts. It was set to expire. We all knew it was coming. The governor prepared for that by including child care accounts in the budget. And unfortunately, your side on joint finance stripped that from the budget. I was invited to the White House convening, states convening on child care. It was pretty embarrassing when we broke into our groups and I sat with, with members of other states and they had all these great pro programs that they had put forth and things that they were working on. Now, I tried to do that with my friend from WASA. We introduced a summer study committee on child care. Couldn't get it through. That's the second time I tried to introduce that. And it's rich that you blame the federal government. I don't know if you saw in the news today, um, Tammy Baldwin just introduced um, legislation to help fund child care. President Biden has initiatives to help states with their child care needs. But it feels like your side on the federal government is more interested in blowing things up and shutting things down. There's not a lot of help coming from there. I'd be hesitant to talk about federal efforts if I were you.